Kangaroo, we're at the Boona Airport ready to take off. We're heading down to Griffith. I'm with James. Say hi, James. G'day. <laughs> yeah, so we're in, in the plane. Not much room, as you can see, but um, this is the Boona Airstrip, and it's outside west of Ipswich. So on the, um, on the way down to Warwick. Headed, to, as I said, we're headed down to Griffith. We'll be flying down there. Possibly, what, about five hours, six hours, James, do you think? Yeah, it should be about, about five about hours, a couple of stops. I think we're stopping at we're gonna, Narrabri. We're going to land at Narrabri, and uh, so on the way down there. Now, why Griffith? Because tomorrow morning, around about, usually about five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, we head out with the truckies. So this is my third Burr and Buttock hay run. And uh, third time I've done it, so it's a long run. We're heading just north of Longreach, about 120 k's just north of Longreach, taking much needed hay to the um, farmers up North Queensland. It's um, it's around about, I'd say about 1,600 k's, somewhere around about that. So it's two full days in the trucks with the truckies. It's been a fantastic trip. I've done it twice before. This is my third trip and uh, really looking forward to it. And and it's great being with the truckies. Tonight, tomorrow night, we'll be stopping at Wyandra, which is right on the border, and traveling the next day. Stand by, Senator. Right. Boona traffic, Jabiru 8637 is now rolling on 22. Boona. You're right. Oh, good. <laughs> I just have to be quiet while he's actually talking to the radio to get clearance. So, it's, uh, it's great. We've had a bit of rain here lately, so it's looking pretty good. The um, beautiful part of the world, just outside of Ipswich, Boona. It's a lovely little town if you ever decide to come up this way. It would be great for a weekend to come up and visit, visit uh, around Boona. We've, um, the Bar and Bay at Hay Run, I was speaking to, and the man responsible for all this is Brendan Farrell. What a fantastic job he's done. He's, it's about his 14th trip, I think it's about that. People will correct me if I'm wrong. And um, all the hay is delivered, even the trucks and the truckies, their time, that's all uh, donated. And they do a fantastic job. And the last couple of times that I've been there, to see these farmers come and collect their hay, they had tears in their eyes, they were so appreciative. And it's wonderful to see. It's not a political, it's not political at all. This is about Aussies getting out there and
lots of water. Oh, there's some water down here, I'll tell you what. What's up? It, I think it's an old age thing. It, you, your throat tends to go on you and get so I'm all clogged up. But anyway, if you can bear with me, I do apologise. But as I said, with the housing, we are not um, checking on foreign investors coming to Australia and buying up established housing. What I would like to see at point of sale, that identification must be presented either from the Foreign Investment Review Board or if you're a permanent resident or produce your Australian passport or citizenship that you are entitled to buy that house. This must be noted on the bottom of the papers on your contract that you're entitled to buy it. I think it would curtail a lot of um, buyers in Australia that should not be buying up their housing. It's um, also the cost of living. We want to address, you know, electricity costs and charges are skyrocketing. We have to have coal-fired base power stations. It's common sense. Your renewables cannot give us the supply that we need for the population. The increasing costs of these um, renewables is what's driving up our electricity costs. It is driving up our costs to our industries, our manufacturing. That's why a lot of them are shutting down. Here we've heard again today, Coca-Cola is shutting down in South Australia. Another industry gone in South Australia, which they cannot afford. They are doing it tough. They have um, destroyed their coal-fired power station. Hazelwood is shutting down in about a month's time. That, I believe, what I've, I have been told, has been bought up by a foreign investor. It's been pushed by the, by the Greens to actually shut it down. Again, it's going to be a big cost on people in Victoria and South Australia, and it will drain energy, which they'll have to get from Queensland and New South Wales. I think the Prime Minister is making a smart move with these um, coal-fired power stations that are clean, uh, will supply clean energy and the emissions will be cleaner, a lot cleaner. Other countries around the world are actually doing it. We've, um... You're going to run out of mobile reception very shortly. I've just realised we're down to two bars of 4G, so you might want to uh, right. let people know about Longreach. All right. We'll have to sign um, off. If you're actually at the end of this trip, after on the is we're having a politics in the pub at Longreach on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. So it's... James, where is it? It's going to be at the Birdcage at the Hotel. Bird, at the Birdcage Hotel. One o'clock. And I heard you're shouting the first round of drinks. I am. I'm shouting the first around 100 beers. So if you're there, come and join us and uh, grab a beer and let's have politics in the pub. It's bringing, uh, I think, Canberra, your representative, to, to you out the bush so you can actually talk to me, ask me questions, and I'll let you know what's actually happening. Look, look it's been great. Um, I know there's some people coming through mentioning things. Great uh, that you've tuned in, listened to this. And, um, yeah, hi from up here. Wonderful time. No, oh, no, we're about to cross the mountains, James. Oh, God, last time we did that, it was black as the ace of spades or inside a cow's gut. That's what they say. <laughs> it <laughs> he was heard, bumpy. He, he hasn't heard that. No, I my, my head hit the roof, didn't it? It did. <laughs> it storm. But fun of flying. Okay, guys, have a great day. Take care.